like, comment, and subscribe. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not already, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But this is gonna be the first video of my finance journey, or should I say expenses journey. So if you watched my previous video prior to this one, then you do know that I wanna do an expenses journey with you all. You all are inquisitive about what I'm spending my money on as a homeowner, as a single mother, as an influencer, so on and so forth, because I am very much a girl in the middle. I enjoy the lifestyle that I live and I give luxury vibes on a budget. So if you are interested in seeing what I'm spending my money on, please keep watching. But I wanna give a disclaimer. I'm one of those people, I'm not comfortable telling people who I work for, what company that is, or how much money that I make. But people wanna know what I'm spending my money on, what I'm spending my bills on as an influencer, which I don't mind telling y'all what my bills are. Just know the money that I make, I can afford to pay my bills. I can also afford a little bit extra if I want because I have money left over every month. So let's go ahead and get started with my first pay period in the month of August. So I have a full-time job and I am paid bi-weekly. So these are the bills that I'm going to be paying on my first pay period in the month of August. Now y'all are probably wondering why I'm doing it this way. Instead of cash stuffing, cash stuffing personally does not work for me. A lot of my bills are on auto draft. A lot of my bills or auto pay. And I wanted to start specifically in a month like August where there's not a lot going on. My daughter just started back school. I'm not gonna be traveling. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of influencer events either. So this is a very blah month for me. So I wanted to be realistic because sometimes people believe that when you're an influencer, you live this luxurious lifestyle. And the month of August is very much not giving that for me. <laughs> so this is what I'm covering and what I have to pay for. So as you know, if you follow me on Instagram, which don't forget to follow, it's the same as my YouTube channel at ITS underscore ME underscore KYM. So first up, I have to pay my mortgage payment. Many of you know that I am a homeowner. So yes, I have to pay my mortgage as I went over on my previous um, video that I had. I am a homeowner. I have to pay my mortgage, but I split it up into two payments just so that I feel like my money is more balanced. I have to pay my cell phone, electric bill, Lane Bryant credit card, my Jaguar, my daughter's cell phone. I have a Honda Accord that is paid off, but I still take care of it. My car's name is Ghost. I still take care of Ghost. Had it since 2014. Sewer water trash. I needed an oil change, my groceries, my gas, and my monthly subscriptions. So what is that looking like for me? It is 705 for my mortgage. I have $100 for my cell phone. I have my electric bill that actually was a lot less than what I thought it was gonna be. I have my Lane Bragg credit card. My Jaguar costs 275. My daughter's cell phone is $45 because it's a prepaid phone. Um, my Honda, I didn't get it detailed like I wanted to because the place I wanted to go to was closed. So I had to find somebody else who can detail my car now. Um, I did pay sewer water trash. I did have my oil changed. I also have groceries and gas that I have yet to get because I don't go anywhere. I work from home. So I still need to get some things taken care of. And then my monthly subscriptions is only $6. That's my Apple Music versus my next pay period. They're going to get Netflix. They're going to get Hulu. They're going to get Disney Plus all in that pay period. But that's what I have to pay for this pay period. Now at the bottom, you'll see Layla has merits. So one thing that I noticed on Instagram is that you don't really see people rewarding their children for good grades. They just give their kids a budget every week, whether that's if they do their chores or something along those lines. So I reward my daughter for good grades. So merits is teacher or principal recognition. So I wanna make sure that my daughter gets a little something extra for when she does good. And that's what's in this jar. So all of this money, all this cash, this in this jar, these $1 bills, and there's change at the bottom, it's all for my daughter. So if she does well, the money goes in here. 
what she uses that money for it could be two dollar dress day because she goes to a prep school and they have to wear uniforms or if she's like mom you're going to walmart i just want to get a pack of gum she can pull her own money from here so i reward my daughter for good grades and i think that that's very important to help you know encourage your child especially in education in the midst of what's going on with covid and monkey pox and so on and so forth i want to make sure that layla has something that can help and encourage her in school now what's also coming out of my paycheck that's not included what you saw here on my tablets are these things so every paycheck i have my 401k that comes out i have health insurance that comes out dental insurance optical insurance i have a life insurance policy for myself and for my daughter, that's important. For myself and my daughter, that comes out of every single one of my paychecks are these four things. Also, I have my main two savings accounts. So since my daughter has been born, I have a savings account that automatically has pulled $25 per pay period. That's $525 per year. And that's specifically for her when she graduates high school, goes off to college if she wants to use the money for that. If I wanna use the money for a car, there's a couple thousand dollars in there thus far in that account. And I don't touch it at all. I only put money into that account. My second savings account is just $25 per savings account. Now, that is not where I pull emergency funds from necessarily because an emergency could be anything. Your emergency fund could be you have a flat tire. Your emergency could be your window is broken. Your emergency could be anything. You have a roof leak. This money in this savings account right here is for one-offs that I want in my house. One-offs that I want that are upgrades, so on and so forth. So all of my bills are paid two to three months in advance. I don't have an emergency account that say three months worth of my bills because I pay all of my bills in advance. And in order to keep that up, I have to continue to pay my monthly payments. So I do it that way. And what's in this savings account is if, say, I want to go to Disney World. I'm going to pull money from that. Or if I see something that I want right then and there that I know I'm going to need for my home in the future, for example, I might need to get my garage door replaced. That's not an emergency because my garage door is working. But if I see something that could benefit me right then and there, I'm going to pull it from this savings account. Now, what's in this box right here, I call this like my treasure chest because there are specific things that are gonna come up every single year that I'm gonna have to pay for, I'm gonna have to take care of, and I don't wanna have to pull it from my savings account that's coming over here. I don't wanna have to pull that. I don't wanna use the extra cash that's in my account. I wanna set money aside specifically for that. So, these money bags, you can get them off Amazon. They are very cheap, about $8 for about five bags. So check them out, they're on Amazon. I'll try to link it below if I have the ability to. I also got this calculator off Amazon and I got this savings challenge book on Amazon as well as these gold $100 bills. I used to use these as manifestation dollars but we're gonna start using them to replace some money in these bags. So each bag has a card and I'm saving something specific in each bag. So this is my automobile savings. I did have over $80 in this particular bag, but as you saw on my tablet, I just had to get an oil change. So I pulled some money out of that for an oil change for my Honda. So currently there's only $5 in this bag. Next, what's in my bag is, my next bag, excuse me, is for Layla, my daughter. Now you're probably wondering like, oh, I thought she had this jar full of money for her. Well, this is for our birthdays and Christmas. So her birthday was in May, I emptied out this bag. Christmas is coming up, so far it's only $5 in here. I did give her an extra $10 because she wanted a couple of things since she started back from school, which I didn't have a problem with. And that was more so a necessity for school rather than this, because this just has like maybe $10 in it. But I want her to have whatever it is that she needs, accessories for school, so on and so forth. They have to wear uniforms, so you have to be able to stand out in a different way. So I didn't mind spending that type of money on her um, to pull money out of her bag. 
Now, next up is holidays. I have a large family. I have to spend money on Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, New Year's, 4th of July. So I wanted to have some money for holidays. It's already set aside. In this bag, I have $20 for holidays. Again, as I said, I have a very big family who knows what they're gonna wanna do, but I wanna be prepared whenever they wanna do something. Next up is the savings challenge. So I'm using this book that I got off Amazon. Isn't it freaking adorable as a savings challenge? And so far I have $15 in the savings challenge. I'm not accustomed or used to saving challenges, but I am into it. I'm here for it. I want to do a savings challenge so that I can save up some money to do something. I don't know what it is yet that I want to do. I'll decide as I go. But so far I have $15 in my savings challenge. Well, $20. I need to put another, hold on. I need to, where's my marker? I need to do another circle then if I got $20. So let me go ahead and scribble that in right quick since I got $20 in my savings challenge. Woo woo, I'm here for it. And I take this money out every pay period and I put it into these bags. So in my last bag, last but certainly not least, is my house. So as a homeowner, you're gonna have stuff that pops up again all the time. I just spent $1,300 on two windows on my house. And I had to pull that from my savings account. I didn't wanna do it that way. So I wanted to set money aside specifically for my house. As I said, in the future, I may need a, a new garage door opener. So I'm gonna have to pay for that. You know, I have to take care of that. I have a guy who comes to mow my front yard. I have to pay for that as well. I don't wanna pull that from my regular money. So I make sure I have money that is set aside for my savings challenges. Now, this is just how I do my money in these extra bags. So I can just pull cash from here. It doesn't have to come out of my main checking account. Again, as I said, I do have money in my checking account, but I just pull the money from here so I don't have to shuffle all over the place. Now, as far as checking account, I have three checking accounts and I have two savings accounts. So the two savings accounts I just went over for my daughter and just a basic savings account. And the reason why I have three checking accounts is because the majority of my bills are on auto pay. So the first checking account is for my mortgage specifically my mortgage is taken out once a month i'm paid in advance but every time i get paid my job puts that amount of money into that checking account i believe it's like 707 dollars per pay period that comes out that goes into that checking account specifically for my mortgage so every time that the first comes around every month it just takes another payment out and takes another payment out takes another payment out. i don't have to worry about competing with other companies for my money that's in my account who's gonna withdraw it first i don't believe in that when you're an adult and you're grown you don't want to have to put anybody through that type of situation and worry about getting backed up in your bills for sure you need to have a roof over your head so my mortgage is number one and it's going to be taken care of it's going to be paid so that's my first checking account my second checking account is for my jaguar the reason why i have a second account second checking account for my jaguar is because that's my source of transportation I want to go ahead, have it auto paid. I don't want it to come out, mess with any of my money. So it's going to come out every month on the 11th of the month. So again, bi-weekly, every time I get paid, I get half of my car payment that's put into that account. My Jaguar is paid two months in advance, but it still continues to do auto draft. My third checking account is for everything else. So if I want to, that the remainder of my check is going to go in that big checking account where the majority of my money goes. And if I want to go out to eat or if I want to pay school dues for my daughter, so on and so forth. And you'll probably notice that her school lunch was not on there. I don't have to pay for school lunch until September. And also I have my settled amount for Capital One. I don't have to pay for that until September either. So I make sure whatever other bills that I have, my electric bill, my Geico bill for my car insurance, my gas bill, my groceries, so on and so forth, it comes out of my third checking account. So I have multiple accounts for multiple reasons. That's what works for me. Definitely, if you have multiple accounts, please make sure you comment down below what you use them for. Make sure you put some hearts and say that, you know, 
it's more beneficial to have that. I don't believe in putting all of my eggs in one basket. I just don't. And the reason being is because you know, you never know what could happen. And if something does happen, I can more easily move my money around when I have multiple checking accounts. But the last thing I want to go over with you guys that I didn't mention on my tablet is I have, this is my second pay period in August, but I have my savings. So everything that's in here is also on here. So it shows how much money I deposited on what day, how much over here. So I keep track of what's in here on my tablet as well. But I'll go into more detail with that on my next video. So, cause I'm on lunch right now and I'm trying to wrap it up relatively quickly. But I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will link where I got this savings, electronic, say my expenses report from on my link below. So I'll put all of these goodies that I have. This, the book, the calculator, the $100 bills. The money bags, all of that. I'll put the link where I got it from below. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing y'all on the next video to see what I'm spending these coins on. And I'll holler at you later. Bye.